Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Rogan Reel Fishing. I'm out again early morning trying to catch a PB perch. I need to catch a PB perch, something over one pound because I haven't caught anything good this year. And I have some reinforcement with me. These are the Lucky Craft Flash Minnows. All right, so from what I have right here, this is the metallic sardine and this is the sexy smelt. I know, based on experience watching on YouTube, diehard fishing, Calico Outdoors, and Ish with Fish actually fish with the metallic sardine with great results. But I also wanted to grab the sexy smelt because a lot of fishermen around here seem to have good luck catching halibut in the surf. And I'm feeling that this sexy smelt will actually have some results with that. But for the rest of the day, I'm going to be plugging with this and seeing how it goes. Wish me luck, guys. All right, guys, my setup today is gonna be this Lucky Craft Flash Minnow right here. Moi, look at that sexiness right here. Looks amazing, right? And then it's gonna go to 30 pound mainline right here, goes to a barrel swivel. Hopefully that's in frame right there. 30 pound braid onto a barrel swivel, three foot of fluorocarbon leader, onto a clasp that will hook on directly to the Lucky Flash, um, Lucky Craft Flash Minnow. From there, I'm gonna be plugging for the rest of the day and I'll see whatever my results are. So right now is incoming high tide, the incoming tide. So hopefully that will yield me some results. I'm trying to find some good, calm, rolling waves, probably around there. So I'll probably work my way around here. Um, I'm gonna try to stay mobile today uh, I do have an extra camera, an extra cell phone that I can use as a secondary camera, but the problem with that on the surf, it's really hard to be mobile carrying all that stuff around, tripod, extra camera, moving around in a very public beach. Uh, it's, not, it's not that easy. I gotta chase the fish first, so we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, wish me luck. Ooh, I see chunks of seaweed. Hopefully, it's not all out there right now. Ooh, look at that, look at that action. Oh, joy, okay. I caught seaweed in the first try. This might not bold well. A lot of salad today, a lot of salad. Too much salad. Obviously when it gets caught up in all this little tidbits right here, it's not gonna swim properly. Okay, I need to be reevaluating this beach right now because incoming tide, but I'm not getting any sort of results. It, little, it feels like it's a little too chaotic here, but I'm trying to find one of two things where the barreling roll of the swells is actually much more calm than what it is right now where i'm at or if i can find a rip current and go fish on the sides of the rip current um, that usually bolts pretty well so i might have to go back to walking the beach see if i can find exactly what i'm looking for
this doesn't look too bad. Right here, this one little pocket, it's rolling, pretty calm. Oh man, look at, look at how beautiful the sunrise is, oh my gosh. All right, so I think I'm gonna try out this place right here for another 20 minutes and see how it goes. All right, let's get back out there. All right, let's hope there's no more salad. thousand years later. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Woo! Wow. Guys, oh my god. Oh my god. Very first halibut. All right, I'm going to measure it just to just to see. All right, guys. Oh my god. After the entire day of not catching anything, one halibut. Unfortunately, it's not 22. It's 21 and a half. So I'll let this one go. Well, oh my gosh, 21 and a half inches. That is insane. Very first halibut ever. All right, time to release him. As gently as possible. Oh my god. And he swims off. So some of you may be wondering what exactly happened in that moment, but what actually happened was, as you can see, I made a very, very big mistake. Oh, what I actually was trying to do without actually thinking was unhook the lure out of the halibut's mouth with my bare hands. And so in doing so, the halibut, to its defense, um, tried to sh struggle free of its captivity. Um, obviously it's a very feisty fish so in the end it resulted in taking a chunk out of my thumb um, I've already gone to urgent care um, already got my Tdap so um, hopefully it turns out well Neosporin is my friend at the very moment that's what happens I made a very grave mistake and I'm definitely paying for it at the very moment otherwise that was my very first halibut 
caught in the surf very first halibut unfortunately it wasn't a keeper but in the end it was despite it putting up a incredible fight to the point that it injured me but again that injury is my own fault it was still an amazing experience and i can't wait to go out again and actually target halibut themselves i'm trying to find other beaches that actually hit up for the surf um, as you can see i was using the lucky craft flash minnow the metallic sardine um, but for some reason there are absolutely no perch at that particular beach one of the things that i really did notice is that during the incoming high tide the breaks were much further out and so i think that really contributes to um, where i can actually target them they're just too far and too deep out into the water so i may have to try other locations i do have a few in mind so hopefully whenever i have time i'll start going to those places and see um, how the lucky craft flash minnow will turn out thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace